Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to talk to you about prayer. Now, what I understand about prayer is it's a communication between me and God. Now, communication means I not only speak to God, but that I'm quiet and I listen to Him. It'd be like having a conversation with a friend and you, uh, you want to do all the talking and you're always telling your friend what you did, what you're going to do, what fun you had, who you're mad at, whatever, and you just go on and on and on and on and on and on and on until the other person just tunes out. What about this? What if you were speaking to God and then a good portion of the time that you're in prayer, you would actually stop and be quiet and listen? think about what God's saying back to you. Now one of the ways you learn what God says is through reading a Bible. Why? It's because when you read the Bible it's the Word of God written down for us so we can read it and you get to know about God and His ways of uh, thinking and His ways of acting in life. And uh, when you pray and you communicate with God what you're saying is you actually want to hear what God has to say, and that even includes His answers. Um, I think people are funny. We, we, uh, we want to talk to God when we get in a big crisis or big trouble. Like, oh God, help me, get me out of this. I really made a mess out of it, help me now. And then we forget all about God when He gets us out of the mess, right? You know what's really wonderful is to realize that we can have a relationship with God every day and you can speak with God at any time of any day and you can just say things like well good morning Lord I'm uh, I'm having a beautiful day thank you um, do you anything, have anything that you want me to do today you ever done that and then get quiet and think about it what would the Lord want me to do today oh yeah there's that guy down the street who just lost his wife yeah Lord maybe you want me to go down there and just take him a, take him a, a, a pot of soup, or, or, or just take him a pie. I love pies, <laughs> and whatever. But just, what is it, Lord, that you would want me to do today? He might even say, uh, "Well, I think you need to take a rest. You're not getting enough rest. You're working too hard." Did you know our heavenly Father loves you so much? He doesn't ask you to do things for Him every day. Sometimes he asks you to do things for others. Sometimes he asks you to stop and take care of yourself. He's a very caring, loving friend. From one end of the Bible to the other, there's stories about people whose prayers have been answered. These are men and women who turned sometimes even the tide of history of a whole nation or of a church or, or of a family through prayer. Sometimes you pray and pray and then you wait for God's answer. I was telling my church recently, I said, you know, God answers uh, yes. Sometimes he says no. Sometimes he says wait. And I said, I have another one for you. And sometimes God says, I have a better idea. <laughs> I want you to know God always has a better idea. Sometimes we don't even know how to pray. If you ever get to a place you say, Pastor Rick, I'm very much in need. I know I need to pray, but I just don't know how to pray. Did you know you can come before God and you can say, Lord, I don't know how to pray. He's going to say, yes, I know. Just talk to me. What's on your heart? Okay? Um, if you're at a place where you're grieving or something terrible happened, you can actually just groan out to God, and the Holy Spirit of God will take your prayer and translate that into a message for God the Father. You can trust the Lord. Elijah prayed, and God sent fire from heaven to consume the offering on an altar. Did you know that the same God that was listening to Elijah is the same God that will listen to you when you talk to him? You're no one less than anyone else. You're just as important to God as anyone else. Elisha prayed, and the son of the Sh Sh Shunammite woman was raised from the dead. Hannah prayed, and God gave her a son, Shemuel, who would bless God's people for decades. Paul prayed. Dozens of churches were born in Asia Minor and Europe. Peter prayed, 
and Dorcas was raised to life. I prayed. I remember one time a group of us met in a hospital. We prayed for a lady. You don't see these things very often. She was in a coma. We thought she was very near death. God raised that lady up in our sight. We were shocked. We all backed up. She began speaking psalms for like 30 minutes. I have to tell you, to be in the presence of when you see God working is actually a little frightening and surprising, startling, because sometimes God answers when you're right there. Other times I prayed, and I prayed for a long time, and waited and waited and waited for God to answer, and then he finally would answer, and when he did answer, I'd say, okay, I see why God didn't answer it then. He had a better plan. Trust God. Just take some time every day to talk to him and be quiet and listen. He'll hear you and he'll answer your prayers and you'll be glad you did. God bless you.